Hello, my name is Sam and welcome to my channel here at ThinkSmart. Today is the day of Apple and Tesla stock split. I am going to talk about what both Apple and Tesla has done today compared to what I had predicted it will do, what I think will happen, also what I have done and my reasoning. We will discuss upcoming events for both Apple and Tesla. As we all know, Apple announced their 4 to 1 stock split, which took effect today, August 31st. So for every one share of Apple you bought prior to August 28th, you will see four times that amount in your account this morning. And this morning, the price of Apple was trading at the split adjusted price of 126.35. At opening bell, we saw a slow and steady climb to a high of 131 and closed with a 4.31% gain. Will we continue to see Apple rise the next day or will it drop after this? If you're holding Apple, will you take your profits or will you hold? Let me know in the comments below. What will I do? I will continue to hold. It was not much of a gain as I had expected and I'm only holding a small position in Apple. My other reasoning for holding is that Apple is coming out with their new iOS 14 5G phone. It's expected to be released this September or delayed to early sometime October due to the COVID setback. Apple has reached its highest annual revenue of 265 billion. It is said to be that the new iOS 14, the new operating system will not allow certain tracking mechanism. And this will ruin Facebook's revenue since it will prevent Facebook from tracking its users' information. And Facebook revenues rely heavily on its ads. Facebook mentioned that it could actually lead to a 50% drop for its advertising business, since the iOS 14 will not collect what it's called the unique device ID number that allows Facebook uh, advertisers to target their ads better and more effectively. So if you're holding any Facebook, you may want to consider taking some off the table. On to Tesla. Tesla share price closed at 2,213 on the day prior to the split on August 28th. Today's shares price started trading at its adjusted price of $440.17. Early this morning, we saw Tesla's dip a tiny bit during pre-market, but went back up at the start of opening and closed at 502, a gain of 12% or 12 and 61% gain. Again, not as much of a gain as I would hope it would be for Tesla. The momentum obviously was not certainly, was not there as we had seen prior to the split. But nonetheless, I was content with taking in some profits as the price rose back up towards the end of the day. I sold a third of my position as opposed to selling half as I mentioned in my last video. I think it may continue to see a slight steady growth over the next couple of days. If it dips, I will buy into it again. But for now, I am gonna hold the rest of my shares as Tesla's battery day is coming up. I believe Tesla's battery is going to be the big day. So if today is not causing too much of a commotion, September 22nd will be. September 22nd, same day as its annual shareholder meeting, Tesla will announce its new battery. There has been a lot of speculation that Tesla's battery can be up to 700 mile range. Currently, it's about 320 mile range for the Model 3 series or 300,000 to 500,000 miles of battery life. So if Tesla's new dry electrical technology, they call it, can produce a 700 mile range or a 500,000 to 1 million miles of battery life, then that would be a very good day for Tesla and its investors. So you may want to get on board if you haven't already. The price didn't spike up too much yet. You are getting in at a lower price and the spread from now till then will be worth it. 
If not now, I feel you may miss out on another gigantic wave of Tesla like we have witnessed from the past year. The only time it may not be worth it is if Tesla was to go bankrupt. Tesla is ahead of the game with its patented technology and I believe it will continue to be in terms of electric vehicles. Many people and analysts even predict the price can go up to 3,500 or even 7,000. What do you think? Leave your comments below. I would really like to know. Now, Tesla's fan base just increased that much more because of the split. All of the investors who did not have a chance or was too late to get on board and ride the wave Elon Musk has created recently because prices rose too fast, too furious. This stock split allows everyone to now and the split adjusted price of Tesla started at 442 and 68. But just like a few years back when we were skeptical of Elon Musk's vision and in electric vehicles, if you don't get on board now, I believe you will miss another gigantic wave. Just imagine if you had bought Tesla when it was originally, let's say 442 and 68, and then it rose to over 2300 in as little as over six months. Many local auto companies now are getting in on the electric vehicle, including international companies like Europe and China, Neo, Nikola, Xpeng, Canoe, Apparently with Canoe, you don't need to own an electric autopilot car. You can rent them on a monthly basis without a deposit. Competitors are being creative and some are claiming to have the best battery technology there is and charging capabilities. I believe electric vehicle is here to stay and is the future. But not only do I believe Elon Musk is bringing the future in automobile, but also in other industries as well that he owns, such as SpaceX and NG. His new venture in Neuralink, where you can implant a chip into a human being. Elon Musk getting into the healthcare sector will be revolutionary for mankind if he is successful. So today I took in some profit at closing because of the split event. Let's see what happens after hours and the upcoming weeks ahead leading to Battery Day. We will recap then. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to be notified of more videos like this. Until next time, happy trading.